we have learnt that food performs a number of functions in our body. But whom should we thank to give us this yummy food? Well, of course to your mother. But then from what exact source you get this food from? Well, let us find out this by breaking your favourite item into a number of ingredients and let's see from where do we get that ingredient. So, here we will see pizza. Now, what are the various ingredients of pizza? Let's observe. So, the first thing that you need would be a dough to make a pizza base and this dough is mainly obtained or made with the help of wheat. Alright, next to wheat you add some cheese to it, right, along with cheese you may add some ketchup, you can also have a number of veggies, right, except for them what else do you add, well you may add some amount of chicken also, right, then we have a number of spices, some salt and water as well. Okay, there can be more ingredients or less ingredients depending upon what you like but these can be the ones which we can put right now. So, first of all when we talk about the wheat, from where do you obtain the wheat? Well, we get this wheat from the plants. So, plants they give us wheat, cheese. Cheese is formed with the help of milk and milk is an animal product. So, cheese can be obtained by animals. Ketchup, its main ingredient we would say is tomato. So, tomato again is a plant product. Veggies, of course, we get them from plants. Alright, next is chicken. Chicken, we get from animals. Spices again, we get from plants. Next, coming to salt and water, these two are not obtained primarily from any plant or animal. These are mainly the products of our earth. Okay, but except for these two, you must have noticed that mainly we obtain our food items from plants or animals. So, plants and animals, they act as the major source of our food. Plants on one hand, as we know, they perform photosynthesis to make their own food. So, we can call them producers because they are producing the food. On the other hand, animals, they eat these plants and then they give us a number of animal products. Now, moving forward, let's have a look at what are the different type of products which we can get from plants and animals. So, in plants, the very yummy thing that we eat are the fruits. Fruits such as apple, mango, banana and many other items can be obtained from plants. Similarly, when we talk about the stems, so from the stem we obtain potato, sugarcane, ginger and many other items similarly. Next, when we talk about seeds, seeds are very very commonly eaten in the form of wheat, rice, peas and many other. When we see the leafy part of the plant, so leafy plant part is considered as to be highly nutritious. For example, like in spinach, cabbage, coriander. Coming to the roots, we also eat roots of the plants. These can be radish, turnip, carrot. So now the last part which can be the flowers. We also eat flowers of the plant. For example, like cauliflower, broccoli, etc. So, these are some of the plant parts that you eat in your daily life. So, similar to plants, animal can also give us a number of products. Let's have a look at them. The most important food item that we get from animals is milk. So, milk can be obtained from cow, goat, buffalo, camel, milk. This is a very important food item and it can be used to prepare curd, ice cream, ghee, butter, cheese and many other products. Next product can be eggs. 
Egg is again an important food item. Now this egg it can be obtained from hen, duck and quail. Next is meat. Meat can be obtained from hen, duck, fish, goat and crabs also. Lastly, it's the honey. Honey is obtained from honey bees. Honey bees collect their nectar from flowers and they take it to their hive. Now, they convert these nectars into the yummy honey that you eat. So, this was about the foods that you get from animals. So, now we have seen what are the different types of products which we can get from plants and animals. So, it's the time when we thank them to give us this yummy food.